Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review on Black Toy by Rosa Salas. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. So, Rosa Salas. I've previously done a video on Rosa Salas when I purchased um, a couple of perfumes from them, which were a great hit. Uh, I'll put the link up so you can have a look at that video if you like and it goes into a bit more detail about Rosa Salas. But I decided to um, order a couple of things from Rosa Salas and the main thing that I ordered was black tie. This is the presentation that it comes in and this is their interpretation of YSL's tuxedo. So as you can see, it's a great little box presentation. is brilliant. Rosa Salas in the top. And on the bottom it says black tie. So this is the 30 mil size bottle. I've previously had a 50 mil size bottle, and this is what the bottle looks like. So it's very similar to the 50 mil bottle. I've also got some 10 mil bottles which I ordered with when I ordered this and this is what the 10 mil bottles are so they're following the same design very well done in my opinion. So on to black tie. You've seen the box this is the bottle caps pretty decent so look at the atomizer. Yeah, very good. Oh, that's lovely. So what sort of price are you looking at for 30ml bottle of black toy? You're looking at about £30. Yeah, for 10ml I think it's £20. For 5ml it's £10. And I think the 50ml bottle is £45. This is a bit more expensive than ones that I've previously purchased because this is part of their premium range so obviously the ingredients that they're sourcing cost more but this is a, a lovely scent. Availability just get it from the Rosa Salas website as far as I'm aware I don't think they're selling it anywhere else. So the notes in this I think what I'll do actually rather than read out the notes because the description on the website for this actually includes the notes as well. So it says black toy is pure elegance in a bottle. Everything about a black toy affair, the glamour, the excess, the magic of the occasion, you love captured in a rich, mysterious fragrance. Perfect for both men and women. It's dark and rich and unapologetically sexy. An absolute must have to make you red carpet ready, no matter where you're headed. The top notes compromise of intriguing blend of floral violets, zesty lime and coriander, while the middle notes hearken to the traditional blends of your combining rose with lily of the valley and an unexpected dash of spicy black pepper. Things darken when you get to the base notes with the unmistakable essence of ambergris, sensual patchouli and creamy vanilla. Black Toy encapsulates all the fine details of a special occasion from the rich fabrics to the high sheen glosses to the sound of heels hitting pavement. A perfume this special should be the last thing you put on before leaving, whether it's for the most formal of, oca of occasions or to add some elegance to your everyday get up. So that covers the notes, I will list the notes on the screen anyway. So. Is this lineal? I would say not. It does change over time. I think the violets hit you straight away. Then like a rosy pepper smell comes through and then it gives out a, a cocoa vibe. It's very thick in the base. There's patchouli and the vanilla. I think that might be causing the cocoa vibe. Plus you also get a bit of a boozy note from it. Now it doesn't list booze in the notes but I'm pretty sure there's one there, whether it's the alcohol anyway. 
but it does whether that's reacting with some of the notes and it's creating a more of a boozy note I don't know projection on me it was about three hours or so maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less but it, I would say on average about three hours I wore this on three separate days Siage was very good uh, longevity a good eight hours plus um, last even longer if you spray, spray it on clothes when to wear it I think this is definitely uh, a winter autumn scent maybe even like kind of cold spring day um, and I think you're looking at more formal occasions now it did list in the description for everyday get up I, I personally wouldn't wear this every day and um, it is more for that standout occasion compliments I didn't get any compliments directly I did ask a few people what they thought of it and they were all very complimentary about the smell so overall it's a very good creamy boozy and woody scent and one that I would highly recommend so that's black tie I also at the same time ordered a couple of 10 ml bottles there's one here which I ordered which is called 019 Jardin de Mar I've probably butchered that name but this is a very nice summer scent for me um, it's got fresh lemony it's got lots of citrusy zest in it um, it's got a boozy undertone to it very nice I also ordered a oh by the way that is their own creation I don't think that's a copy of anything I might be wrong but I think that's their own creation I also ordered 033 O Paradis which is their interpretation of by Killian straight to heaven and it's a fantastic scent it's really nice it's a dark boozy scent it's so beautiful and then Vitor very kindly sent me four samples I'll quickly run through those samples he sent 066 Freaky Ace which is a interpretation of Tom Ford's Effing Fabulous which I really enjoyed 010 Phantom Sombre which is a version of By Killian's Black Phantom now I showed a guy at work and straight away he said I want to get it so he placed an order with Rosa Salas that's how good this smells and this will definitely set you apart from the crowd he also included 021 Gladiator which is their take on Invictus and it has got exactly the same Invictus DNA it's really really nice he also included 031 Silver Lake which is their version I think of Creed's Silver Mountain Water and it's spot on it really is gorgeous and it just takes you up into the mountains now this one 036 Rio Duro this is their version of Creed's Virgin Island Water and if you haven't smelt Creed's Virgin Island Water it is coconut citruses it is just picture yourself lying on a beach with your coconut smelling suntan lotion on it is it just takes you straight there it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and it's probably the best um, interpretation I have smelt of it it's really really nice and then the last one they sent through to me is 037 Rays Noir which is their version of um, Tom Ford's Noir Extreme and once again it's spot on it really is good 
I, I can't praise it enough I was wearing this yesterday and it's just gorgeous so that's covered everything that I received from Rosa Salas uh, I'll put the link in the description if you're interested in getting anything from there uh, but I'd highly recommend it um, for some top quality fragrances at a fraction of the price that you would pay for normal retail right that's all from me if you have you tried any Rosa Salas fragrances let me know in the comments below what you thought or is there any that you can recommend to me all that's left for me to say is if you can like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button and I'll speak to you all soon stay fragrant not vagrant it's dark and rich and unapodulate it's dark and rich and unapodul It's dark and rich and unapodulate